If you didn't like Sodden as much and you wanted something more like the classics, then Curse of the Moon 1 was just that. It was it was one of the classics, really. It just had a little bit more glitz and glamour on it that you really couldn't have gotten in the, you know, NES era. But that's fine. I love this enemy's design. So a lot of the enemies in um, Bloodstain 1, especially the bosses, actually have... They're actually characters in the real Bloodstain game. To be clear, it's Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. So, you know. Still gotta have a something of the night. I know why the reason is, but it's almost random. When I uh, when I was doing my original LP of the first Bloodstain, which is to be clear, Bloodstain Curse of the Moon One. Uh, the third episode, and just the third episode, randomly got a whole bunch of views on it because I named it. You know, uh, I think I named it like. Reject Lady Domitress, return to classical uh, vampire waifu. And it was the episode where I fought Bloodless, who's the uh, resident sexy vampire lady. So if I'm remembering right, in the first Curse of the Moon, one of the other mechanics is that bosses will attempt to kill you with their last attack. I think that's I think that's from Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And here you can see that they try to do it, but another party member comes in to save them, to save you. Why don't I put this on right? If it isn't Zengetsu, glad to see an old war buddy still hold his own. Heh. <laughs> I could say the same to you. You seem just as sharp as ever. Oh, by the way, my face is covering it, but they actually have little um, things here. Seeing as we share a common enemy, would you give me the honor of fighting alongside you once again? I am not sure an ordinary human will be of much use in battle against demons, but more help is appreciated. Welcome aboard. You're one of the church's people. Sorry, Zangatsu, but there's no way I can trust someone from the church. Robert, don't misunderstand. I don't know what grudge you bear, but she is needed in this battle. <laughs> I'll trust your judgment, but I'll leave my bullet in the chamber. Should she raise my suspicions at all, it will find its way into her back. Robert has become an ally. Yeah. So Robert has the gun. And he throws these little spears for some reason. I don't know why he has spears of all things. Not sniper shot. Prone. Crawl. Creeping shot. Wall cling. So yeah. That's how we can go around with uh, certain other areas. Yeah, the party's getting big. And they do little things. So in the original game... Um, your team was Zangatsu, Miriam, who is the main character of the actual Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, I think his name's like Gebel, I think. It's either OD or it's Gebel. I think it's Gebel. Um... But yeah, uh, Gabel is a close analog to Alucard. Uh, to be clear, 
these games are, of course, closely based on Nest Castlevania, but they're most closely based on Castlevania 3, in which you also had a party of four. Um, I don't think you could actually have all four at the same time, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Robert, we can actually just do this. You can see his health bar is even smaller than Dominique's. But yeah, Miriam's... Miriam's deal was that she was very classic Castlevania in that she was like, she had a whip and she had a jump and she had a bunch of classic moves. But the thing is, is that Zangatsu is also that. He even has the same color scheme as Trevor and uh, Simon in 1 and 3. And then there was this old dude and his name was actually Alfred, funnily enough. Uh, but he was a wizard. And he was closest in analog to Saifa Belnades, in that he was a wizard and he had a very crappy attack, but he could use pretty cool spells. And then Gabel was, of course, like Alucard, and he could turn into a bat and fly around the stage, which was pretty busted. Robert coming in clutch. You can see that he has to re-cock his gun. So he has a very, very slow attack. And it's I don't think it's actually pretty strong as well. But it can cover a lot of the screen because damn, look at him. But yeah, it was this interesting thing where like you almost had two Trevors in the party, and then you had Right. And then you had a version of Sypha and a version of Uh, yeah, you had a version of Sypha and a version of Alucard. But no version of Grant Dynasty. Who, for those who don't know, um... Uh, was the fourth party member in Castlevania 3, and Grant Dynasty's ability was to cling to walls. Which is actually kind of like Robert here. This is Robert's other sub-weapon. It's a hand grenade. This area is a nightmare uh, on hard mode. Because you take the big, exaggerated Castlevania 1 knockback whenever you get hit, so... Yeah. This game makes me want to make a Castlevania, you know? That's so neat. I'll get my vertical back. But yeah, in this, now we have uh, almost new versions of other party members again. Oh, shit. Well, that ain't good. She had a revive spell, too. Oh, boy. It's not going well, lads. Lads and ladies. Oh, yeah, this will work. Lads, ladies, and those of us who know better. Cool. Much better. Okay. That was just a straight up early jump. Whoops. Third real death, I think. Handle took the hit. The reason that I call bouncing off of enemies with a attack like this that goes down, down thrust, the reason I call that ducktailsing is because in the uh, NES DuckTales game, you have a move like that. You have the ability to pogo off of things with your cane. You play a Scrooge McDuck as well. It's a DuckTales game, so. Please leave me alone. Oh, 
but yeah, I just kind of picked up the term ducktailsing in the when I played Hollow Knight. And now pogoing off of things is uh, ducktailsing forever. Okay, let's wait for the next one. Sorry, my makeup's in my eye, and it's making my eye itch. Word. Okay. There we go. So you can see that it's also like much easier to just. Oh yeah, we can do that as well. Um, you can see that it's much easier to, you know, use your characters and swap between them for their own respective strengths and weaknesses. But yeah, it's kind of weird. So, because like in the original game, you have Miriam. And Miriam and, and Zangatsu are both, like, a Simon or a Trevor. But then you're, um... And then you just don't have a Grant. But in this game, we have a Grant. And then we have a different Trevor, and then we have the same other Trevor. Because we have Zangatsu back, but then this girl, Dominique, is very much a... Not a replacement. Oh, yeah, this is also a grenade. Or no, that's a rocket launcher. Pardon anymore. Uh, yeah, Dominique is a different girl with a better jump and a long range weapon that's weaker than a katana. Because, uh, obviously, you have a. Because, uh, obviously, Miriam has a whip. Oh! I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> But yeah, obviously we're, uh, Miriam has a whip, which is very much the same sort of weapon. I'm finding a golden snitch here. This one's interesting. It's literally a devil trigger. It even is like called devil form or something. It's kind of difficult to use and it kind of means that you have to face tank, but. So uh, we don't really need it. All right, next boss. It's a demon train, of course. I think it's an, yeah. I remember a really annoying pit trap somewhere around here. Right, yeah, he does that. That's what he is. I'm botching. Don't mind me, everyone. Oh, that would have been fine. But is that not kosher? Does that not count? Okay, we've got it now. I hope so, at least.
Don't mind me, I was thinking about something else. Sorry, I was thinking about what I could have possibly been thinking about that would have made me botch it like that, and then I started botching again. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi. I mean, it's a lot harder on myself than it needs to be. Ah, well. All right, let's finish this off. And then meet our last party member. And then I should take a little break. This game is so pretty looking. Yeah! <laughs> Big ol' Megaton Pile Bunker Punch. Who could hate that? Who could, who could resist it? Love to see it, honestly. <laughs> And yes, it contains a corgi. <laughs> I remember you. It's been a long time. What sort of device is that? Fall back, Sangetsu. This must be the work of an alchemist. We can't trust it. Not every alchemist is evil, Robert. It appears to have done all of this just so it could try to find me. Damn it. This is a mistake. We will regret this. Hachi has become an ally. So yeah, Hachi. Like Hachiko. So you can see that he's the only one with more health than, than Zangatsu. Arm of Destruction. Death from above. Steam Hover. And Wild Step. And I have no, um... So yeah. And you can see that I can hover. And I can hover punch. And if I'm in the air and I'm not hovering, and I hit down and attack. Oh wait, can I hover? Oh, I can. So yeah, if you're in the air and you hit down and attack, you do that. And then I can turn gold and become invincible. And if I switch off, I lose that. And it's, this means that I do not take any damage. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'll cut it here, but you shouldn't notice. This has been cut into parts anyway. Uh, but I've been Alpha. This has been Bloodstained Curse of the Moon too. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.